Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And in this video, I'm going to show you how I made a Christmas cracker, much like this one. This one is more of a, just a glamorous style one with this beautiful, brightly gleaming designer series paper. And it is a nice size. It is about two inches wide and about five inches long. So lots of treats or even a little gift would fit in here. But I'm gonna be doing one more of, of a whimsical uh, theme today. Uh, but you can do it you know, with any designer paper. And you can notice I've used punches here. And the sentiments and stamp set I'm using for these projects today or the, is the Itty Bitty Christmas stamp set with all of these different Christmas and holiday sayings that are so fun and easy to use. So I'm gonna get started. First of all, I am using a piece of the Let It Snow Designer Series paper, and it is cut at eight and three quarter by nine. And I'm gonna get out my Simply Scored scoring tool and we're gonna do some score lines. Okay, so. I'm putting the shorter side at the top, and I'm going to score at one and three quarter, three and a half, five and a quarter, and seven. Okay, so what I did is I scored that eight and three quarter inch side at every one and three quarter inch. So hopefully my calculations are right. And now I'm just going to fold almost score lines. And I'm not gonna use my bone folder right now because it has that beautiful glitter on there and don't wanna scrape that off. Pretty durable, but I don't want to take a chance. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the smaller punch from the um, Christmas Gleaming Bundle, and let me flip through that real here, real quick here. This is the one I used on the other one that I showed you at first. It's the from the Gleaming Gleaning Gleaming Ornaments Punch Pack on page 31 in the holiday catalog. Great little punch pack. And this is the smaller one. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this punch and you see there is a line here on the punch and here, that's the center. So that's what I'm using as my guide and I'm sliding it all the way in on these score lines and I'm lining up the top line and the bottom line with that score line and punching. And I'm gonna do that on all the score lines. Who doesn't love punches, right? Ugh, so fun. Okay, I'm gonna go on this side and do this. And really you can do this with any uh, designer paper that you have, and uh, this punch works great with this particular size of a Christmas cracker. Okay, so I'm lining that up, punching. Now, something else that I found <clears throat> that makes for a neater finish is to go ahead and punch these edges, okay? So I'm gonna slide up the punch and line up that center mark there with the edge of the paper and punch and do that on all four sides. Okay, two more. And again, again, this paper is cut eight and three quarter by nine inches for this big Christmas cracker. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it all together and that's going to assemble like that. Do you see how that punched edge 
goes over that punched area there and leaves a, a hole, which is what you want, okay? I just liked the look of that. So now, I'm gonna take my liquid adhesive and I'm going to just spread some glue, not getting too close to the punched area. But I'm also going to put some here on this end tab and over here. And you could use other adhesive too. I like this because of the wiggle room in case I don't get it just right. So I'm gonna get that center done first, matching up those punched ornaments spaces. Okay, and then I'm gonna press these tabs here and it's just gonna take a bit to set and dry. So let me leave that to the side and so show you what I'm going to put for an embellishment. I decided to take these precious snowmen, one of them, and I'm probably gonna do more, but this one's so cute and I just fussy cut it out, okay? So it was this one right here. I didn't put the little bird, but you certainly could if you wanted to. If you wanted to die cut one out with an oval, that would work as well. But this fussy cutting was pretty quick for me. And then I have a scrap piece of real red cardstock and my two and one quarter inch circle punch. So I'm gonna slide that in there and give it a punch. And then I'm gonna put that over top like that. And see, that's gonna make it pop out from the rest of the Christmas cracker. So, now, you know, I'm thinking that possibly it might be better just to cut it off there at the bottom, but I think I'm gonna leave that, that little piece of snow down there. You know what I mean. Hmm, second guessing. I'm kind of designing this as I go. Um, so I'm gonna try this. Okay. All right, let's try that. Yeah, I like that better rather than that hanging off the edge there. Okay, let me go ahead and put this little guy down. So again, I'm using punches and just easily cutting out. All right, and that's going to go there. Now, I'm going to put a sentiment on this. And I've chosen Believe from that Itty Bitty Christmas set. And I'm going to get a scrap strip this is one half inch wide and let's see where's my real red ink and i'm going to stamp on this in red and i'm going to leave some edge there because i don't know how long i'm going to leave it but as i'm looking at this i'm thinking I need something behind it. I was going to do that, but I don't want it to get lost in the all the little snowman hats. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and just cut it at an angle like that. Then I'm going to get this scrap real red. And I'm going to glue it down. Let's do, uh, yeah, this will be good. I'm trying to maximize the use of my paper here. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to take my paper snips and cut out around it, but leave a little red border. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like that, I think. It, you know what, you could also use shaded spruce, but I'm gonna leave the real red, I like that. Okay, let me go ahead and put snowman down. Just kind of center it. That wasn't too center when I put it down, but let me slide that a little bit that way. And then Let's put glue on the back of this piece. And I'm gonna slide that blank white space underneath here. Yeah. Okay, 
So, let's see how I can glitz this up a bit. Hmm. I think I might use some of... Mm, I don't know. Let's play with it and see. Okay. I want it to stand out a bit, so I'm going to... Yeah, I like that. But I'm not going to use that big one. I think it's kind of overwhelming to that little space. So I'm going to use that middle size one. These are the holiday rhinestones. And one here. Now I was going to put one on the star, but I changed my mind. Okay, one there. And then I'm going to do one more little one. Right there. Okay. Cute, sparkly. Okay, so now you, you could close up one end, or if you weren't ready to fill it yet, just flatten it out after it's good and dry, and you can store them like this. And then when you're ready, pop those open, and then we're gonna tie the ends with ribbon, and I'm using this beautiful Real Red Ruched ribbon. And so I'm just going, instead of tying a bow, I'm gonna tie a knot, and I'm going to go ahead and tie it up so you can see, and then I'll probably store it flat. Okay, that doesn't close it, so I'm going to have to, I don't want my treat to fall out. Okay, let me, let me give myself a little room here. Okay, so... I wanted to be sure it was good and dry. Let me show you. You have to kind of pinch it together like that, okay? So it will close up and it gives that fun little closure right there, okay? Then you can tie. And gluing that little tab helps hold it all together very nicely. I tried it one time. I didn't put that glue on that end tab and it was like going everywhere. Okay, so. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay, and then we would trim this. Need my ribbon scissors. Where did they go? Let me try these. Here they are. Okay, so let me cut some ribbon and see about how much I need. I'm going to cut 12 inches so, so I can tell you how much ribbon to allow. Okay, you would fill it with your treats or your gift and pinch it together like this. Isn't that so cute? I love these big sizes. I've made them before, smaller, and we're going to make a small one here too just so I can show you because those are cute to go in a stocking or as a table or party favor for the holidays. All right, here we go. Okay, trim this off. And then I'll undo this because I'll be traveling and I'll carry it with me and stuff it when I get to my destination. Okay, so isn't that so cute? I love it. They're fun to make. With that punch, it's really easy to make. So those are those big sizes. Now, pretty. I'm going to kind of clear this off and um, make a small one really quick. Okay, so for a little one, this is cut at four and a half by six, okay? So, let me get the Simply Scored in. And this is from the Night Before Christmas Designer Series paper. And I'm going to put that, uh, let's see. Oh, on the six inch side, the six inch side at the top. Pretty sure this is the way it goes. We're going to try it, yeah, because the 
Okay, I'm talking to myself. We're gonna score at one and at five with a six inch side at the top. And this is four and a half by six, so you can use your six by six uh, paper stacks, all right? And then we're gonna turn it and we're gonna score it every inch. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now notice that we didn't um, score on the ends on that other one, okay? There's a reason for that because that's gonna show me where to punch, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and fold on these score lines. Okay, and then fold on this. Okay, there you see how it's going to go together like this. All right, so I'm folding it in and I'm taking a one half inch circle punch. And I'm going to come in on these one inch scores and slide this in halfway and punch. One. And this punches very easily on this designer paper. Two, half inch, half inch, halfway. I went a little far on that other one, but it'll be okay. Halfway through and punch. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in the center here, halfway and punch on this end. Okay, and then on this side, do the same. Fold this in. And that's so your, your punch will reach where you need it to go, okay? So, we're going to go halfway in. And then you might need to fold it to see where that score line is. Halfway in. Again. And then I'm gonna punch on this edge. I think that will work. Okay, now let's see what we have here. So we're gonna put adhesive right here this time. Let's see, it's gonna go there. So I'm gonna try to put a little bit here and a little bit here in the center and then again up here on this tab. So let's push that down and hold that a bit. And let it sit. Okay, there we go. See, isn't that cute with the Santa? Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm pinching this in and I'm gonna tie this up and I not sure what ribbon I want to use. That real that ruched ribbon will be a little big, so let's use this. This is the uh, Cherry Cobbler Diagonal Striped Ribbon that um, comes with the Night Before Christmas Suite. It doesn't come with it. It's included on the page, and it coordinates with it. Okay, so I'm not going to do a knot on this. I'm gonna to need to make two of these. You know, I've got, well, um, by the time of this, you this recording goes live, I should have another granddaughter here. So that will be three granddaughters. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. But the infant won't need a treat like this. I'm trying to talk myself into just two, you notice that? <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so I'm just tying, and I'm not doing a knot so that I can undo this easily, okay? Let's trim this off. Isn't that so cute? All right. There you go. So see, there's a little beady Christmas cracker, all right? Little gift, little treats. And again, I am going to use Believe on this, but I'm going to do a, go, go at it a little way, a little differently. So let me get some scrap. Okay, this is shimmery white. That will work. And I can put the leaf or love scent. Um, let's see. What do I want to use? I think I'm going to stay with the leaf. 
because it's Santa. Let's do that. Or no peeking till Christmas. No, I'm going to do believe. I like believe. Okay, so this time I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler ink because Cherry Cobbler and Poppy Parade are the two colors in the reds in the Night Before Christmas paper. Okay, and I'm going to believe. Then I'm going to take my one inch circle punch and punch that out. And then I'm going to take my one and one half inch. No. Let's do one and one eighth inch scallop circle punch. Let me find some cherry cobbler. All right. And then I'm going to mount that over this. Like that. Okay, then in the Night Before Christmas uh, designer series paper stack, there is this sheet with all these Santa hats. And on another sheet, I cut out one of the Santa hats. And I'm just going to put it over top like that. Got little papers everywhere. Like that. And then I'm just, oh, isn't that cute? All right, I'm gonna put that right here. I don't wanna cover up Santa and the reindeer. Is that crazy? But I don't want to. I'm gonna put that right there. Right in the center, some glue. And put it right there. Now, you know, you could try to get it where you, this is just was by accident. It worked out just right. But what's great about this paper is you have this Santa and his sleigh, like every inch almost. Okay, so isn't that cute? Okay, we need some bling. Let's see. Oop. We need some bling. Hmm. I don't know. Red. Let's see what this is. That's kind of pretty. Decisions, decisions, huh? Okay, and then I'm going to put a, a big one. Should I put it on his hat? I'm going to. Well, the intention is there. <laughs> okay, let's flip this up and move it over. There we go. Okay, there's our small Christmas popper. Now, this will post on YouTube. Initially, it's going, uh, well, I'm not know where it's going initially, but if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, I will put the link to the blog post that has the all the dimensions and everything for these projects. And here are the other two. So thank you so much for joining me and tuning in. And I hope you're enjoying some crafting for the holidays. So special. So give it a try. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will talk to you again soon. I appreciate you. Take care. Bye-bye.